All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. I have got another amazing location for you here today. So it's an abandoned church, except it was turned into a thrift store before it closed. So I know you guys don't like churches, but you're gonna like this one just because it was a thrift store. There's so much stuff left here and it's in relatively good condition. It looks like it's been rummaged through a little bit and there's been some damage, but it's very minimal to be honest. The worst part of the place is in the living quarters back here, but even that isn't that bad. Anyway, there's just so much cool stuff to see here and it is freezing cold in here. I am just freezing my hands. Like I can barely feel them right now, even though I'm wearing gloves. Really excited to show you guys this one. So let's check out this static space. That picture is actually really cool. And this would be one of the confession booths, I believe. Look at that window. Look at this dead fly on the bow. Oh, look at these old uh, cross country ski. Oh, look at this. Is this a Tickle Me Elmo? But this is a really cool view because, so here's an interesting thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, I forgot about this. Cassette deck. Gotta love it. All right. So like I said, this is an abandoned church converted into a thrift shop. And this is an absolutely incredible location. Wow, that picture is actually really cool. Oh, there's so much to see here. All right, I don't even know. I'll give you a quick little overview from the back here. Wow, look at these old 80s pictures. Never seen those before. Price stickers on everything. Ten cents for a wine glass. Wow. I'm just going to go slowly over everything here to give you a chance to see it in all the aisles. Well, this is pretty cool. And then I'll pick out certain things that stand out more than others. To me at least, anyway. It's a really cold day. I mean, it's cold outside, but then I got inside and it's even colder. Must be like, I don't know. Minus five to minus 10 inside here. Absolutely crazy. So cold. So this is obviously all the homewares area section. And yep, here is an original part of the church. And this would be one of the confession booths, I believe. Yeah, certainly looks like it. Got some I don't know what those are. 
I didn't put my light on because I didn't think I would need it, but... Oh, those are blinds. These glass windows are great, though. Oh, yeah, here we go. So I guess the pastor or whatever would sit in here. Then you open up the box. Hello in there. Let's see what's in there. Huh. So I guess the... He'd have to, like, if you were in the confession booth, you'd have to sit on the ground on this little step here. It's not very comfortable. Oh, I guess you, you kneel or something, right? Yeah, that's probably what it is, because it's a confession booth. Sorry, I really don't know that much about religion, so I don't know how it all works. But I'm guessing that's what it is. Oh, look at this little big wheel type of thing here. It's not a big wheel, but kind of, sort of. Taste makes wastes. Huh. Coffee. Ooh, British Columbia. <clears throat> oh, a whole bunch of hats. Wow, look at this one. That's very retro. <laughs> oh, this is all still house housewares, I guess. Although you can see a transition happening, I think. Because there's like ornamental stuff on this side as well. Fifty cents for that small blouse. Oh, and we've got a changing table here. Huh. Okay, moving on here. Pink frog. Yeah, the, uh, I don't think that's linoleum. I think it's just vinyl flooring. It's all cracked and peeling up. I think this would have been a stereo. Maybe just a cabinet. Oh, cassette tapes. Look at that window. And another set of skis. Peltonan. <laughs> Plastic candles, I remember those. Christmas ornaments. This is, uh, I don't know, clothing and stuff. This place is a bit messed up. From what I know, it was actually in much better condition a year ago. So it's pretty unfortunate that uh, someone came in here and trashed the place. Because it looks like it's been sitting for a number of years. I mean, I guess if it's going to happen, it's got to happen sometime, but all sorts of Christmas mugs here. Oh, well, there's a snowman. Oh, look at this iron. Uh, 
a Hoover stainless iron. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, electric frying pan. And a carving knife. Whole bunch of coffee makers. Oh, this one doesn't have a lower shelf. But there is a box of dolls here. That's pretty interesting. Look at this dead fly on the bell. His wings are spread out and everything. Let's see if I can get a better look at him. Wow. That's crazy. Is he alive? No, he's definitely dead. Oh, we got a whole bunch of empty tins. Where there's mostly royal dance cookies. Oh, we've got an Ernie there. Or no, it's Bert. There's Ernie. See, I do remember my Sesame Street characters. Left behind the movie. This is a really cool place. So much stuff to look at. <clears throat> Although it does always make it difficult to figure out what to focus on. All right. Oh, look at this, majestic typewriter. Oh, it's not working. What do we got here? Books, encyclopedias, Animal Kingdom, which is an encyclopedia again. Ooh, lots of VHS tapes. Living with MS, oof, that's rough. Yeah, here are all the books. Bridget Jones's, uh, Bridget Jones's, Jones's Diary, the book. Enjoying everyday life, the mind of Christ. Oh, it's a religious magazine. Interesting. And we got some clothes folded up here. Well, here we go, we got shoes. Oh, look at these old uh, cross country ski boots. Wow. Very cool stuff. All right. So now we're into the clothing section and the big ticket item section. Oh, look at this. Is this a Tickle Me Elmo? It certainly looks like one. Looks like it could be one. Yeah, so all sorts of clothes here. Sorry about the light. Apologize for that. Sun's coming directly in the windows. Wow, all the kids clothes here and an air hockey table. Was this a walrus? That's really strange. <laughs> Look at these seat cushions. Those are very retro. But they almost look like new retro as opposed to old retro. Oh, here, here's all the stuffed animal bins here. Yeah, I've got dolls and stuffed bears and all sorts of stuff. Garfield. 
More clothes. Oh, there's a onesie. I really don't get onesies. They're really ugly. Or it's like a nightgown or something, I guess. Oh, that's an old exercise bike. CCM. Made in Canada. That's what I like to see. Made in Canada. Alright, so... Ooh, Destiny, Destiny's Child CD. Let's take a quick peek in the basement. Now I already know it's flooded because I already went down here, but you guys can at least see what there is, which isn't much. It's kind of creepy, creaking door. Yeah, so not much down here. I'll try and get some footage from the other side as well. All right, from here we can head up to the upstairs part. Some sort of macrame thing. Wow, look at this carpeting. Very 70s or 80s. Same with the wood paneling. Boy, it looks like they were doing some renovation work or something. Broken fluorescent bulbs. Huh. So there used to be a window in there in there. Don't know what happened to it. But yeah, there would have been pews up here. Shame that they didn't leave the pews up here because it's pretty cool. But this is a really cool view because you get an overall Look at the place. Absolutely incredible. Huh. All right. Oh God, that's an ugly ski. Very, very 90s. All right, let's teleport over to the living area. All right. So I think this was still part of the business, this area, but it connects to the living area, the living quarters, as you might call them. Eleven hundred words you need to know. Horseshoe. The right way up, of course. It's always good to catch all the luck. Oh boy. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty messy back here, unfortunately.
Leave now, except leave is spelt incorrectly. They forgot the E. Quality people do that sort of thing. Got an invoice here. Diesel fuel conditioner, eh? Look at this dresser. That is so pink. Oh boy, the floor is a little bit rough there. Yeah, floors are definitely uh, warped. Oh, come on. There you go. Is this like a little porch area, I suppose? Oh, another typewriter. That one's probably 80s. <clears throat> Couple TVs and computers here. Oh, there's the wood for burning in the wood fireplace. Keep, keep it warm in here. Certainly not warm now, that's for sure. Yeah, the stickers on the regular windows to make them look like stained glass. Those things are pretty cheesy. Oh, I gotta check the fridge. Nothing. Wow, look at this TV, it's a Zenith. Picture in picture, system three. I guess they picked out their favorite dishes and used them as their own. What's this, a Twizzlers dispenser box? Huh, never seen that before. Oh, what's in here? I didn't look in here before. Well, of course it's dark. There's plumbing coming up there. It's underneath the stairs, which will go up in just a minute. So nothing interesting in there. All right, let's head upstairs. <clears throat> I'm warning you now, it's a little bit messy up there. It's like the rest of the living quarters, unfortunately. But check out this carpeting. Wow. <laughs> that is so 80s. It's all wood panel up here. Some of it's falling down as well. So here's an interesting thing. They covered up nice wood with wood paneling. Go figure. <laughs> Got the bathroom in here. Pretty simple. Basic. Oh, that's interesting. They tried to fix the the flooring with staples. Seems to have worked. Still not peeling up or anything. Huh. This place must have been expensive to heat though. I can only imagine. Churches? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a lot of the original wood in here, which is really nice to see. Oh, what's this? Big piece of leather. Got a closet in there. So, yeah, I don't know. It looks like there are a few people living here. Definitely, uh, they had a kid, because this looks like a kid's room.
a little dog painting there. Oh wow, yeah, I forgot about this. Look at this. I think this is linoleum on the wall, yeah, probably, or vinyl. But look at this wallpaper here. That is great. And then this stuff. Wow, this closet is incredible. <sighs> the designs. Wow. Gotta love that. Very 60s. We got a couple more rooms down here. Past the uh, fake wood paneling. Oh, that's nice. I like these walls. Jeez. Got the closet. See, yeah, everything's tossed and turned in here, unfortunately. Oh, I like that exposed brick. And that wood there. Mattresses have been tossed and turned. There's the closet. Well, here's another closet. All right, so here's what the other side of the basement looks like. Uh, not that great of, you, of a view, but not too bad. And it looks like it's frozen. But no, it's just the top layer. All right, let's check out this trailer here. I don't think it's, or camper, I should say. I don't think it's very interesting. Oof, don't think it's very interesting, but who knows? I haven't looked in yet. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, the floor's rotting out. Look at this stove. I love the color of it. Wow. And these cushions, so retro. Oh, it's got, here's the washroom, I think. Yep. So it's got a sink and a toilet. Oh, it does have a shower. Oh, it's a wet shower. I don't particularly like these, but you know, compact designs and all. Cause then your toilet ends up completely soaking wet, right? So you can't use it for a little while. And there's a shower curtain. Oh, look at this, so retro. That's great. Wonder if it's, uh, a manual no looks like it's an automatic wow very very cool couple more things to see out here and then we're done important tighten wheel lugs every 50 miles for first 200 miles wow So we've got a Ford truck here, an F-150. That's pretty cool. It's an old one, looks like 80s. The bench seat. Wow. Oh, looks like that's the owner's manual in there. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you couldn't really see much. All right, let's see if this is open. Oh my God, it's so cold out. It's just brutal. Figured you guys would want to see this side of the, the car. Yeah, it's an old truck. Cassette deck, gotta love it. And the red interior. All right, let's go take a look at uh, the shed here, see if there's anything in there. I 
Anything interesting in here? Flea markets. Ride them lawnmower. Looks like they hadn't used it in a while. I don't know what that sign's for. Probably another flea market sign. One more cool thing to show you, this Jeep here. Check that out. Oh boy, that is rustic. Wow, this thing's really old. Jeez, gauges are over there. Wow, big open back. Unbelievable. All right, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Really hope you enjoyed this one. Such a cool location in my opinion. I really like churches, even though I know you guys don't, so I still film them. I don't care, I'm still gonna post videos of them. But this one's really interesting because turned into a thrift store like this, it's just so unique. It's one of those locations that you never see or rarely see, right? So it's just so amazing and I feel so lucky to be able to explore this one. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did. And thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to give it a like. Throw a comment down below if you have anything to say or even if you don't have anything to say, just throw an emoji down there or start an argument with someone else in the comments and you know, banter back and forth, I don't care. Just throw a comment down below. And of course, if you wanna see more of my videos and you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you at the next. Static space. And of course, if you want to see more of my work and you're not already, and you haven't already, ugh.